Guys, welcome back to the channel. The Premier League team of the season is officially here. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing our first Premier League team of the season review. And if you've seen the thumbnail already, you know who it is. It's none other than the 94 rated left back, Andrew Robertson. And I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm not going to spoil the review, but I'm going to be honest. If you happen to pick this guy up, Wow, what a card and what a left back this guy is. But guys, you know the drill by now. If you're new around here, like daily FIFA content, you like player reviews and you like anything to do with FIFA, hit that subscribe button and come and join the team because we are going to be reviewing every single team of the season from the Premier League on this channel. So that's exactly what you need to do. If you don't want to miss out on any of the reviews, Hit that subscribe button guys and don't miss out. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this video. So, looking at the stats on this Andrew Robertson card, 91 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. That's lightning guys, that's lightning quick. And that's exactly what Andrew Robertson is. He's lightning quick. I like my left backs and right backs to get forward quite a lot. And guys, tell me, my tactics are um, overlap. Do you have your tactics for overlap for left backs and right backs? If you do, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. But like I say, they are my tactics. And Andrew Robertson is perfect for this because he's got the pace. He's got all the pace in the world. And he doesn't get caught out a lot. Um, he's forward down that left wing. He's almost playing left forward from the gameplay. You'll see that. But when I do get counter-attacks, because I get counter-attacked a lot, Andrew Robertson is back into that left-back spot ASAP. He's so quick getting back. He's great defensively minded, but we're going to get into that. Into the passing stats. 91 vision. 99 crossing. 99 crossing. We're going to get back to that, guys. 97 short pass. 89 long pass. And 97 curve on the card guys i'm gonna be honest he could play as a midfielder he could easily play as a cm um in this game but what i'm gonna to say to you guys is i wouldn't play him as a cm i would only play this guy as a left back or a left winger and why i wouldn't play him as a cm is down to his work rates because although i did have him on overlap he just naturally likes to get forward. He just naturally likes to go on these sorts of mazy runs. I've got Perez on that left wing. And Perez, in fact, was pushing back into that left back spot. Because Andrew Robertson was getting forward that much. Getting into the dribbling stats, guys. 91 agility, 86 balance, 92 reactions, 91 ball control, 88 dribbling and 85 composure. The dribbling was very good. And guys, if you didn't see it, in the week I reviewed that Rousselon, team of the season, the community Rousselon, and Andrew Robertson's dribbling feels a lot like that Rousselon. I also reviewed the left back Tellers. Yes guys, I've been reviewing so many left backs in this game, but that left back Tellers, I didn't like his dribbling as much because, I don't know, he felt very stiff, but Robertson is definitely like that Rousselon. He doesn't feel stiff at all. Great agility on the card, obviously 91, and great ball control. He rarely loses the ball. But guys, I want to talk to you about the composure and the reactions. The composure of 85, it's definitely good enough. The reactions of 92, you'll see from the gameplay, um, he clears a ball off the line. He's the last man back. The goalkeeper gets caught out. And who's there to pick up the pieces? This, this 94, Andrew Robertson. He gets the clearance off the line. And that's the reactions. That's definitely down to the reactions. Into the defensive and physical capabilities on the card. 72 jumping, 76 heading accuracy. Yes, guys, he doesn't win many headers in the air. He's not very tall in game either. And guys, later on in the video, I'm going to compare him to a left back that's in the Premier League. And that other left back does win headers. But 99 stamina on the Andrew Robertson card. Like I say, overlap is my tactic. And this is why it works so well with Andrew Robertson. 99 stamina. He can get forward as much as he wants. Um, he can get back as much as he wants and then he can get forward and then he can get back. He can do as much running as he wants, guys. 
and he doesn't get tired. Now, these are the stats that sort of made me think, oh, wow, this card is actually top tier. 81 strength, and that can be boosted with a chem style, guys. But 96, 96 aggression on this left back card, guys. That's absolutely unreal. That's top tier aggression. And if you do happen to boost that strength, which I would say, guys, get a chem style that boosts that, boosts that strength. Because if you're going to have strength in the 90s and uh, aggression's almost 100, almost 99, it's 96 at the moment, with 91 acceleration and 97 sprint speed, this guy catches anybody up and he will bully them, guys. With that sort of strength and aggression, he will absolutely bully them into the interceptions 97 interceptions this is why i say he would make a good cm but those work rates those work rates for a cm they just don't sit with me very well 94 marking 97 stand tackle and 95 slide tackle guys he's a top tier defender and you can see it from the uh, physicality and the defensive stats you, as a defender, you need good defending. <laughs> it's just the basic. You need good defending, guys. It doesn't matter how much you're going to get forward because in the end, you will need good defending because you are playing as a left back. And Andrew Robertson has got all of that. He's got all of that and above. So, yeah, guys, the cons. We've talked about everything he's good at. What are the cons on this card? So, guys, there's something I want to bring your attention to. And it's the 99 crossing. You would have seen from the gameplay so far that every time I cross with this guy, it goes to the goalkeeper. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why it was doing this. I was trying a lob cross. I was trying a power cross. I was trying every cross possible you can try on FIFA. And it was going to the goalkeeper. So, guys, what I want to say is, I don't think it's the card. I really don't. It's got 99 crossing. He's got 99 crossing. It can't be the card. It must be me. However, I do cross a lot in this game. I know about the crossing meta. I know about the back post crossing meta. So, guys, I don't really understand it. But if you do have any tips for me to improve crossing, you know what to do. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like I say, I'm not going to blame it on the card. It's impossible to blame it on the card because... 99 crossing as a stat, the crossy should not be going to the goalkeeper. And so guys, we go to my overall thoughts on this card. Um, so guys, I want to just discuss a few things. The first thing is the price. He's very expensive at the moment, but that's obvious because he's just come out. This guy will drop in price, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what sort of price he's going to drop to. In my opinion, he is going to be expensive. So, if you do want to pick Andrew Robertson up as this team of the season left back, I think you're going to be paying quite a lot of coin for him and secondly guys what the other thing i wanted to discuss with you was um the marcus alonso the u8 fit marcus alonso i think he's up to like a 91 rated card right now obviously this andrew robertson is a uh, free ratings i use a 94 but you might have that alonso and you might be thinking to yourself guys do I really need to go out and get this Robertson? This Robertson looks amazing, but do I really need him? And what I'm going to say to you guys is, and what I'm going to suggest to you, in my opinion, that Marcus Alonso makes a fantastic midfielder. And in my opinion, Andrew Robertson would make a good midfielder, but is best suited for a left back. And what I'll say to you guys is, this is probably, I'm not probably, I'm going to say this is actually the best left back in the Premier League. In my opinion, he beats that Marcus Alonso because like I say, for me, Marcus Alonso is best suited as a midfielder. And out and out left backs, there's no better in the Premier League right now than this Andrew Robertson. So I hope that clears it up for you guys. So you know the drill. Near the end of the video, we go to an overall rating. The overall rating I'm going to give this guy is 9.4 out of 10, guys. You heard it. 9.4 
out of 10. It's a fantastic rating. It's a better rating than the Talas. And in my opinion, this is a better card than that Talas. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you've enjoyed the video about out in any sort of way, don't forget to leave a like. And guys, like I said, there's going to be more reviews on the channel. There's a few more dropping later tonight. And tomorrow, do expect around three to four more reviews on this channel. So yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. I'll see you next time.